The last thing that we're going to talk about here in predictive analytics in the area of probability is how do I calculate the variance and standard deviation uh, associated with um, um, with the probability outcomes. Again, we're going to go back and we're going to use the concept of phase again. Um, where if we can take and outline all the potential outcomes, then it really allows us to um, do some pretty powerful things. An example 4.9 from your textbook says that you're going to do a, uh, a bonus system. And the bonus system is based off of individual performance, where they're superior, good, fair, and poor. Um, if someone is superior, they get a bonus of 10,000, good gets 6,000, fair gets 3,000, poor gets nothing. The probabilities, though, that it will occur is there's a 15% chance that the person's going to get evaluated as uh, superior, 25 for good, 40 for fair, 20% for poor. And if we know all this data, then we can go through and we can do an expected, what's the expected average um, bonus that everybody's going to get. Okay, so if I take the expected value here for this top part, 15% are going to get $10,000. Well, 0.15 times 10,000 is 1,500. The chance that it's going to go this path, 25% are going to get 6,000, 0.25 times 6,000, so again, 15 here. 40% are going to get 3,000, 0.4 times 3,000, 1,200. And then finally, 20% are going to get nothing. So the expected mean, okay, the expected average bonus that people are going to get based on these probabilities is 1,500 and 1,500 plus 1,200 and zero. So the average bonus should be $4,200, okay? That's very important for you from a business standpoint. Because if you can go through and list all potential outcomes, the probabilities that you think are going to occur, and then the value associated with that outcome, we can start looking at overall averages of, of what will uh, her, occur in the future. Very big predictive um, uh, analytical technique for us. Again, this is just the average, but we can take and extend this idea also to the variance. As you remember from variance, the way we calculated the variance was we took each individual data point, subtracted away the mean, which we just calculated, then we squared it. Okay, so again, variance is nothing more than each data point minus the average, square it. We're just going to take and use the same exact concepts that we used before. 15% chance that the variance is going to be 10,000 minus 4,200 squared. That's 5050. Five, zero. 6,000 is the data point here. The mean is 4,200. 6,000 minus 4,200 squared times 0.25. This value, continue here, continue here. And so the total variance is, sum all of these things back up again, the zero variance, the expected variance associated with this schema for handing out um, uh, the bonuses is 9,970. However, what we've said before, variance is not nearly as useful as the standard deviation. The standard deviation is nothing more than the square root of the variance, right? So if I take the square root of the variance that I just calculated, I will be able to get the expected standard deviation associated with this schema for um, handing out bonuses is 3,158. Hopefully this makes sense. Again, um, gives you a bit of an idea how we can calculate variance and standard deviation and expected values using Bayes' theorem.